Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes to us from Sean. He's N7ECV, and his question is this. How does one connect an amplifier to a radio with no amp relay? Would, could I use a, uh, a foot switch? I want to run my SBITX radio with my amplifier. The radio only has an RF out. And uh, that's uh, from N70CV. Before I jump in to answer Sean's question, I want to pay a special thank you to Richard LeBeau. He is one of my most recent patrons on patreon.com. You too can become a patron of this channel by going to patreon.com slash ke0og and picking a method that works for you to help support this channel financially. Now let's turn to the question. Okay, he has uh, an SBITX radio. If you go to HF SIGS, dot com okay okay they've moved the move the thing here it's HF signals this is the SBITX okay and then they have the micro uh, BITX this is the SBITX right here Okay, it's gotten fancier and fancier and fancier as time has gone on. And then there's the um, micro BITX, which I had and gave away as uh, one of my, uh, one of the giveaways. Okay, so let's look at this. And what he wants to do is take the S, B I T X uh, or the micro B I T X. Uh, the the S B I T X is the latest one, but they're sold out of that, so they're still selling these. This um, he wants to take it out to an amplifier, an external amplifier to an antenna. Now the normal connections that you have between a radio and an amplifier is, of course, the RF to be amplified. And when it's not uh, amplifying, it's just a pass through back for the receive. The other thing is there is a line from here that tells the amplifier when to transmit. Okay, and then there's a feedback line here, not always that's called the automatic level control. If this senses that it's getting too much RF, it'll tell the radio not to make the uh, signal so large, okay? Now, the problem with the SIBTX is there's no input for this, so you'll have to do without that, which I do on my ALS500M from uh, Maritron. But this is critical right here. Where do you get that? Well, there's no output directly on the box. However, at your mic input, okay, your, your microphone, you have this coming out. There's uh, three wires. There's a ground. There's the actual mic that goes to the audio amplifier in here. And then there's a push to talk. This is connected to ground. These two are connected here to cause the thing to go into transmit mode. Okay? And you can do that. Um, let's see, that's right, okay. You can connect the transmit one from here directly to this push to talk on the microphone, okay? Because modern amplifiers don't take much, and when they find this thing grounded, 
it'll cause the amp to go into transmit at the same time this will go into transmit. So that should solve your problem. If you're concerned about the load, you could put a uh, relay in the circuit to tell the amp uh, to go into transmit. Now, there's a little bit more to it than that. Okay, that's the physical how to do it. The question is whether you want to. Uh, you need to take a look at the specifications of the S, uh, BITX or the micro BITX and what their spurious outputs are because the amplifier is just going to amplify them. And your output signal needs to have an output that's less than those spurious emissions after amplification. Okay, so... You just want to check that. One, uh, I've seen QST review articles, like for the G90, that says do not put an amplifier after this because although it meets the spec as it stands, when you put an amplifier on there, you tend to uh, make the uh, spurious emissions, they get amplified just as much and they'll be out of spec when they get over into the airwaves. So there you have it. There's a very simple way to put that in there. Uh, the ALC you'll have to do without. Now the S the SBITX uh, puts out about 40 watts. Uh, most amplifiers that are used for HF need 60 to 70 to drive to full power. So you're probably fine with that. You won't get full power out of the amp. It just won't amplify that much. They're limited to about 12 dB of amplification. So you'll be fine there. Uh, you can enjoy it. But again, watch for those uh, harmonics and other spurious radiation because the amplifier will amplify those too. And so you want to be careful with that. So there you have it. If you would like to help support this channel financially, you can go to dcastler.com support. Look for a way that works for you, including Patreon. And until we next meet, 73.